if you don't want to install from binary or you don't you can't because it's not available then the best next thing is to use the cpan client if the cpan client is already configured then you can just type on the command line cpan and the name of the module for example ww mechanize and it will go out to the nearby cpan server the mirror and uh, fetch uh, that distribution and then it will try to install it and if the it, it finds out that the distribution has some dependencies that are not yet installed then it will recursively go out and fetch all these uh, distributions as well it sometimes might ask you a question whether you want to install additional op optional modules or so but in general it will work recursively it can take some time because it's uh, it might be a lot of modules it can take some time because it's running the unit test as well but this will do all the work the other way to do that with the cpan client is to type cpan then you get into the cpan prompt cpan shell and within there you can type in install and the name of the module and there's a typo here uh, if you don't have the cpan command but you still have the cpan client then you can launch it with this command so perl minus mcpan that's loading the cpan module and then minus e that's just the command line it's telling that this is the this is the perl program so shell running the shell function of the cpan module and it will give you the cpan prompt and then you do the same as earlier installing the name of the with the name of the module now in strawberry perl if you have strawberry perl on windows then you already have the cpan client configured if not, then we'll have we'll see a couple of ways how to configure the CPAN client.